guys wanted to do a short video just to show another addition to the car um, today I'm adding a coyote badge to the front RTR grill it's not the howler badge it's the other one that they sell on eBay uh, it's a little bit different but it is great great quality and as many of you know that have tried to buy the howler badge it's rarely in stock at the Space City site and when someone sells them uh, used they're very very expensive this one wasn't too bad it's actually the same price it was $42 for the front one. I did not buy the, the rear one because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my rear deck lid yet. But this one is really nice. It's heavy. It weighs about as much as my iPhone. Uh, it's thick. The quality is great. Um, looks really nice and I'm very happy with it. Shipped really quickly and the guy had a lot in stock and had different colors too. So when Space City gets theirs back in stock I will probably buy a set of those as well just because they're nice and I may buy a blue um, set of blue to match the grabber blue so I'm not sure yet but I wanted to get something on because I replaced the RTR grill not too long ago and I want to put this badge on so I went with this one and uh, seems really really nice the coyote is pointed in a different direction and the lettering is just a little bit different around the GT uh, but as you can see the quality is nice it normally comes with 3M two-sided tape um, but because I like to do everything the hard way and backwards I put it on incorrectly with the tape then had to pull it off and it got scratched up a little on the back but that's my own fault uh, for not doing it the right way and I seem to have a tendency to do that I'm certainly not an expert mechanic and a lot of the stuff that I've learned I've learned through YouTube videos so hopefully this will help some of you guys out as well um, the other video I replaced the whole exhaust system the stock exhaust resonators with the MBRP cap back and that's turned out great um, and then the other thing I've done is replace the RTR grill and you have to take off the whole bumper to do that, but it's not difficult to do. <clears throat> so maybe I'll do a video on that, but there are some other good videos out there. For this one, the main thing, you have to take off the radiator cover, which is that over there. It has about nine of those little uh, tree stem type pop-outs, little plastic rivets that you have to use. I have a great tool that I use, it's this. I got it off Amazon for about five bucks and it works awesome. And when I did my heat extractors, which are on the hood of the roof, <coughs> right there, you have to take out, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, felt heat protector in here, and these things come out. You can use a standard kitchen fork, but you just have to be careful not to grab any of it because it'll grab really easily. So this is something that works great, pulling those up. Like I said, it was about five bucks on Amazon, so not too bad at all. So you have to take off the radiator cover to begin with. There's nine of those little plastic rivets that have to come out. And then you have to unattach your hood latch. There's two 10 millimeter bolts for that, really simple. And then you can reach down in there and it's a really tight fit to be able to get down. Let's see if I can show you guys. There they are, back in the back. Um, now I've got big forearms, so it was a tight squeeze and you, you have to reach all the way and don't drop anything because it's difficult to get back. Um, like I said, I do things backwards sometimes, so I took the badge with the three-sided tape or two-sided tape that it came with and put it on the mount, the little plate, because it does not come on it to begin with. And then I tried to mount that. But what I realized is the locking nuts that are on the back of this will turn this screw head unless you have a Phillips head in the other side to hold it. So you have to hold one side with a Phillips head, then tighten down the back side, um, or just hold the back side and tighten down the front side. But either way, it's a little tricky, but it can be done with the bumper still on the car. Uh, I did not have the badge when I replaced the bumper, so I could not do it at that time. Uh, and sometimes I'm impatient. So I went ahead and put the bumper on, and then the badge came a couple of weeks later. So I'm really, really pleased with the quality of it. Uh, looks really nice. It's heavy. Like I said, it's got some scratches on the back. But that's because I'm a knucklehead So anyway, that's it for the most part if anybody has any questions, let me know uh, It was on eBay. I think tags for life was the seller It's $42 shipped for this one and they had a bunch of colors and as soon as Space City gets more in stock I'll probably buy a front and rear set of the blue color to match the car so any questions um, leave a comment down below and then I'll show uh, the second half of this video with it finished. One quick note, the lock-in screws or nuts down behind the badge are 7 16th. 
and the ones here for the hood latch are 10 millimeter. So there's the badge. Tried to get it as level as I could. Looks pretty good. Back up just a little bit. And now all I've got to do is put the hood latch back on. There is a little connector right there that you do have to press. You have to press the side of it right on one of the edges to get it to pull out. But it's almost like disconnecting a headlight. Just press the button. There it is right on the edge. And then it'll pull out. So you do have to disconnect that and unscrew the two 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, we got the hood latch back on. Radiator covers back on. Now we have to put our little rivets in. These rivets are actually two pieces. Here's the base piece right here. It just goes in. All the holes line up pretty good. And then the stem kind of goes in at an angle. You see it's kind of a rectangle. And that's a rectangle hole. Pretty easy. I don't think it goes in real well. Probably jam it in when they're together, but <clears throat> and also when you're taking them out, you have to top take this top piece, kind of pry it up a little bit, and use your tool uh, to pull it out, and then the other piece below it just pulls right out. In the other video, I think Arctic S550 has a really good video on changing out RTR grills or installing them, and he details pretty good uh, in a pretty good way how to take that bumper off and the radiator cover. So it's pretty easy. Just gotta pop these back in. And it goes in like so. Pretty easy. We got a little scuff on it. Uh, and that's it. Okay, that's it. Everything went on. Kind of a level view. Looks good. Closer up. Looks good. See you guys.